in our profession, you know, you're, you're kind of supposed to be tough and, you know, just deal with things and injuries and everyone's hurting towards the end of the season and you just kind of get through it. And I thought I was dying. I mean, uh, you know, I uh, was tired all the time, going to the bathroom four or five times a night, um, really couldn't eat anything, uh, couldn't gain my, my weight back. Um, you know, I was moody. It was just a struggle for six months and I lost 32, 33 pounds. I thought it was just something I was gonna bounce back from and I, I think a part of me, you know, just didn't want to know. The trainer called me, Greek called me into the office and said, uh, you know, we, we need to uh, go see a doctor. And I, he told me I was diabetic and probably type one. And to be honest, when I first found out, I mean, I was, I was relieved, I was relieved. <laughs> First person I, I, I told was my dad. I called him, and um, anytime you hear that your your child has type one diabetes, I mean it's it's gonna be tough for any parent. I, I think the scariest thing after uh, I was diagnosed is just, just I think it was looking back on the past six months, you know, and the possibilities of of what could have happened to me. I think the worst thing that I mean imaginable is is to get really low and pass out. I'm still struggling with this, still trying to overcome stuff. And... Sometimes I take pride in it, you know, sometimes I feel bad for myself. You know, there's a whole range of emotions I think you go through. What, what kind of worried me was, uh, you know, if I went out and had a bad game, that people would be like, oh, you know, he's got type 1 diabetes, let's let's give him a break. And I mean, I didn't, I didn't want that. I didn't want that kind of sympathy. I wanted to be, you know, judged like every other quarterback. I didn't want to go to anybody else for help about it. Um, you know, I wanted to kind of get through it myself. It wasn't happening. You know, I wasn't going to be able to do it alone. And the person that uh, gave me the, the most uh, immediate advice and the best advice, and still, uh, you know, I talk to him every day, is my quarterback coach in, in college. And uh, he got type 1 diabetes at the age of 27, and that was similar to me. It was great. It was, it was fantastic. I mean, it's... Uh, for to have somebody that it was in my in my similar shoes. The first thing he said was everything's gonna be fine. I mean you're gonna be able to keep playing football, you're gonna be able to do everything you wanna do. I'd love to use my story to, to be able to, you know, inspire kids that, you know, get diabetes at, at four, five, six years old and you know, they think it's into the, the world and they think that, you know, they can't have dreams, they can't, you know, do what they wanna do in life and you know that's uh, entirely false. Yeah, so you want me to show you how I felt before I had diabetes? And just right here. And right here. Let it go. After diabetes? Exact same way. Yeah. 100%. Never, nothing's changed that way. At all.